Yellow. You know, it's really sad to see Conor McGregor say he's completely retired, but I wish him the best regardless. Nonetheless though, with retirement established, let's ask a different question. Who inspired Conor McGregor to choose a career in fighting in the first place? To better understand, let's start by taking a glance upon his first fight. Here, with about beginning notice Conor McGregor's hand position. It isn't that same flowy, hands out style. That one seemed to have more of a karate influence, but this here is different, the precursor to that style. Now, is he just being negligent about keeping his hands up, or could there be more to this story? Watch this here. Here's a tweet from Conor McGregor from when Chuck Liddell entered the UFC's Hall of Fame. It reads as, Thank you, Chuck Liddell. Your work inside the UFC's famed octagon inspired me to chase my own fighting dreams, and for that, I am forever grateful to you. Thank you, and big congrats on your Hall of Fame entry, proper UFC OG. From the many comparisons we've drawn between legendary fighters and Conor McGregor's style, this one for me is perhaps the most humbling. You know, I remember coming home from school and seeing the Iceman Chuck Liddell on screen and just being blown away. He had an aura to him, just the shine of greatness. At that time, hands down, Chuck Liddell was my favorite fighter. Genuine, pure, and even in his energy, his victory celebrations, the way he'd rage in excitement, it was iconic. Truly, you know, for a lot of people, Chuck Liddell's era was a magical time. It was definitely magical for me, and I know for Conor McGregor, it had to have been for him too, because it inspired him to choose this as a career. Watch this here, you can even see reminiscence of that in his victory celebration versus Ivan Buschinger. You know, that's perhaps what we see here in Conor McGregor's early stage. Inspiration from Chuck Liddell. But as you can tell from the jab cross, he hasn't achieved that same tier of mastery he has here. His ability to gauge distance and set up his shots, it isn't nearly at the level as it was versus Eddie Alvarez. Even with his forework, he's moving both feet together, but there's definitely more hang time. He hasn't cultivated that slick karate movement just yet. And even the stance is more of a boxing foot position than that bladed one. Clearly, he's actually swinging similarly to how the legendary Iceman would from his hands down position. Moving on, from here watch his ring generalship. He's already developed an ability to control his opponent and cut him off. As he does, he waits. Boom, a straight intercepting his opponent, which in turn sends him tumbling to the canvas. Perhaps this was a read or an adjustment. Now finding that big shot connect, he decided to time his opponent instead. Here, every swing of the left is emphasized for power. Moving in and out to test his opponent's reaction, he catches him recklessly extending into space with shifts. Connor has remarkable vision, like Sean O'Malley, I believe a greater capacity for depth perception with alongside his reach and quickness which allow him to take advantage of openings with just his left. After a few bombs, just notice again that in and out footwork that he's been known for more so with his karate stance. Just consider this for a moment. I know Conor McGregor studies his footage even when he wins as he's always looking for where he can improve. But just think about all the precursors you see here and just appreciate how much he had to study, how much he had to evolve in order to become this. That is just amazing. It is a testament to the discipline he held in his own self-development. Seeing the punch coming, he places his weight onto the back leg. Pull counter. A check hook preludes entry for a powerful straight, which once again loads up his lead. Side of head. His opponent's reaction, clearly, he's being overwhelmed and instantly, Conor McGregor, he picks up that scent. Emotional intelligence, he knows what your reactions mean, reads them like a book, and adjusts accordingly. The result, his opponent can't defend himself, he's in a haze, nor does he even want to. From there, the fight just ends. The framework in Conor McGregor's first fight is clearly heavily influenced by Chuck Liddell. the fighter he's become throughout the course of studying himself, that is uniquely his own. A masterclass so remarkable that many can't even believe 
what they are seeing. You know, I believe this magic resides in each and every one of us. Each moment we decide to learn just a bit more about ourselves, not just in failure, but in victory. What happens is that we further salvage then refine this gift we have as an individual. That is a lesson we may take from all of this. After all, to know others is to first know oneself. But to know oneself, reference is taken through others. For as all points in the universe may only be understood relative to another, we are no different. To that end, thank you, Conor McGregor and Chuck Liddell for this lesson. I wish you the best in retirement. As a father and entrepreneur, I believe great things. Oh wait, thank you for everything, Connor. And thank you all for watching. If you like more from me, please subscribe and hit the notifications. Thank you if you did. It truly does mean a lot to me. Thank you. Smash like button if you enjoyed. It's good karma. And until next time, peace.